And still on matters polls, the Bungoma senatorial race yesterday picked up pace and the election has been uh, being followed keenly by my colleague Wycliffe Okech, who is still in Bungoma and brings us this live report. Good afternoon, Wycliffe. Thank you so much, Ben Troy, back in Nairobi. We are, of course, coming to you live from, this is uh, Kabochai constituency, uh, specifically Mabanga uh, Agricultural Training Center, which is uh, the Bungoma County Tarling Center, where just a, fair, a while ago, the returning officer, the IABC returning officer for this particular uh, county declared, uh, or rather, Following uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Bungoma senatorial by election, that kick started yesterday. We finally have a winner with us here in the name of uh, Wafula Wakoli, who was among the 11 uh, candidates who are vying for this particular seat. Wafula Wakoli has emerged the victor with about 600, uh, rather 66,032 votes, uh, followed closely by his uh, UDA count, uh, uh, challenger, Mwambu Mabonga, coming second at 45,900. 907 votes. Uh, Wafula Wamunyenye coming distant third of that. Uh, Wafula Wamunyenye is of the DAP party coming distant third with uh, 20,519 votes. The voter turnout for this particular exercise, I remember, this exercise has been mad with a very low voter turnout. Uh, some of the candidates attributing it to just being a by election. You see, this is very different from uh, the general election where we have uh, uh, six uh, seats being contested for, but this one was just a by election with only one seat being contested for and probably that contributed to the low voter turnout of about 21 percent right uh, right away i'm going to engage uh, the senator right now and uh, to tell us how does he feel what is his priority right now uh, ben let me just uh, engage the senator directly and uh, the senator congratulations and uh, if you can just share with us how do you feel right now that you've been uh, declared the victor among the 11 candidates i feel happy i feel light and ready to go our agenda is to work for the people of Bungoma. And here, truly, I'm ready with my team to start working. Yes. It has been uh, it wasn't uh, an easy uh, task, imagine, Victor. Just tell us, what it probably could have uh, com uh, uh, catapulted you to victory among uh, your uh, closest challenges? Uh, one is uh, the trust in God that uh, no man is limited. Uh, number two is uh, the deep networks and structures that we have as a party. Number three is the content we have. Uh, our agenda was not personalized to people. We were looking at what our people want and what as, as a party and as a coalition we stand for. And that is what exactly made us able to deliver. And the last but not least, you understand that Bungoma is the bedrock of Fort Kenya. And we have members of parliament, we have MCAs, we have opinion leaders, deep and wide, on the ground. And therefore it's simply like trying to shake an Irioko tree. And yours truly, you see, my able competitors are uh, somewhere relaxing, enjoying our success as well through views as <laughs> Well, uh, you mentioned uh, uh, Bungoma being the bedrock of Fort Kenya, mm. and you've worked closely with uh, your uh, party leader, that is Moses Tango, the Speaker of the National Correct. Assembly. Could have that played a part in your victory? When I talk about it, the deep and wide networks of the party, definitely there is a taproot. The taproot is the Speaker of the National Assembly. That is our Papua Roma. Yeah. Mm. His right. dictates are cast on stone, my friend, and he's in our hearts. So. The direction was very clear. We as the disciples went on the ground with a message of hope and a message of liberation. And there we are, ready to start working. For Kenya could be deeply entrenched in Bungoma County, but then now your employers are the electorate. What message do you have for them? And probably what is your uh, key agenda as you, as you uh, assume office? My key role in the Senate is oversight, legislation, and representation. Another role that we have as leaders is to consult and build consensus on issues that are national, that we agreed as Kenya Kwanza, we must deliver to our people. And that is why we are here as a team. Moving forward, we'll be bargaining on behalf of the people of Bungoma with a clear mind. If it is housing, if it is agriculture, if it is roads, if it is health, we agreed 
that the government will do a certain percentage for us. If it is matters Bongoma County, we have a governor, a deputy governor and the structures. We believe in consensus and teamwork. We will be able to deliver on our promises to the people. So our people should not give up. The journey has just begun. Thank you so much and congratulations. the only last one they are waiting for. And now the team is full. Right. We are able to deal with all the issues properly. All right. Thank you. Congratulations once again. So thank you so thank much. You. Troy Njue, that is now the senator of uh, Bungoma County, Mr. Wafula Wakole of Fort Kenya, was a merged victor among the 11 candidates who contested for the senatorial seat following uh, the as a as, as successful uh, uh, following the the, the uh, after 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 Moses Wetangula became the speaker of the National Assembly and just like you've heard from him he is extending an olive branch or rather uh, uh, a little branch to his co uh, competitors to join him in unison in service to the uh, residents of Bungoma County well this has been quite a, uh, a tiresome or rather a long journey since yesterday when the polls were opened and now we bring uh, we put a nail on it but then we uh, our viewers should expect a comprehensive story out of this. But for now, let me just hand it back to you, Troy, for more, co for, uh, more coverage.